can answer any of this. I think, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's weird. It's very hard to get attention, to, to draw any attention to short films in any big way. So you kind of have to cheat and hack the system somehow and find kind of little ways of getting your message across. Um, and it must be very different with short films, uh, live action short films and documentary short films because they're very different avenues, you know, the issues are different, I guess. So uh, mm -hmm. we hired a PR uh, firm who um, were London Flair, who uh, are basically a London-based company, but they are pretty good in short films and they worked with the previous year's winner. And they found us, they wanted to represent us because they thought our film was going to be a winner. So uh, I, th I, I was like, okay, so you, you must know what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, and they, they just got us a lot of radio interviews and uh, online communication stuff. We tried to do a little thing on Facebook where we uh, we tried to kind of directly access Academy voters, which I don't think we succeeded at, but um, <laughs> we'll never know. But you did succeed. Little, well, yeah, yes, but I, I never, I will never know if Mark Zuckerberg j j just got my money and uh, ran <laughs> with it, or if, if anything actually happened there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I think a lot of little kind of hacky ways of trying to get people's attention, you know. So. Same kind of thing happening in yeah, your world? Yeah, a lot of interviews and um, yeah, also just wanting people to see the film because we feel like it speaks for itself and so we just, we feel confident that if people see it that they'll be touched by it. 